Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where it is your Let's Play 2. Today we're starting a new series. This game is called Whispering Willows, and it was given to me free by the developer, um, Nightlight Interactive. You can pick it up for only $15 on Steam, and it is described as an atmospheric two-dimensional puzzler. Now, I've had it for a while. Um, you can see at the bottom there, patch 1.17 is out. I haven't touched the game yet because I've been busy with other stuff, but luckily I'm free now. So we're just going to jump into this. Oh, hey, I'm Elena. Um, so I know nothing about this game other than the description, and I'm jumping into it blind. And apparently we are having one hell of a nightmare. Ah, why does it have to be bulging eyeballs? One of my many fears, in case you are new to this channel, bulging eyeballs, not something I'm real happy with. Ugh. I really like the piano so far. Nice and tense. Also green eyes, hot. Ah, creepy. Chapter 1, Wortham's War. Ugh. Okay. Glowy thing. Press. Lovely. Now, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, so I'm not sure... Okay, this, so that's why. Family's heirloom and has been passed down countless generations. Oh, there's pause. Okay. So, ah, same button. Sweet! Okay, we are moving. Press escape to read. What is this place? I'm so lost and mom doesn't know where I am and I'm supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. All right, we will not give up. We are going to find dad after crawling through this cavern. Thank God I don't have claustrophobia. I'm already digging the art style. Well, can I examine this somehow? Ah, human bones, but why? Okay. But yeah, I'm digging the art style. It's very well animated. And I always like the kind of cartoony, cel-shaded something or other, I guess. Uh, my amulet just started glowing when I approached that coffin. Girl, hear me, girl. Your power calls to me. Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Quantaco, Quantaco tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. Press Q to change form. That button? Apparently so. Whoa. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body, and look at me now, but perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to fend off the darkness. Okay. I sort of wish I could zoom in here. I guess I can do that on the video. It looks super creepy. The way that she's just kind of leaning back and sort of reverse possessed. There is a crack above that door. Use it to get to the other room. Is there? Oh, I can barely see that. Maybe I should have turned up my brightness a little bit. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Done and done. Cool. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. Okay. And my glowy bit is not there anymore. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. 
I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think anything can stop me now. Ah, uh, Lena, don't get cocky. We've only started the adventure. You cannot be cocky already. Things are not going to get easier. Well, let's go through the opening. And auto saves. That's nice. All right. Uh, up and down to climb ladder. Okay. This looks terrifying. Could have made this. Can I, like, go through that as my ghosty person? Apparently... N oh, oh, wait. Wait. I turned into the little flame for a second. That's automatic. Like, I'm not hitting anything to do that. So there must be a reason. Weird. I guess I'll understand it later. Okay. Whoa. I just want to go back up and finish exploring that upper area. I wonder what's in all these crates. This is apparently not a typical RPG where I can just smash everything open. New note added. My dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of dysentery. The physician... I cannot say the word dysentery seriously anymore after all uh, of the Oregon Trail I've done in the past. The physician we brought with us believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight would do her well, but the physician has warned that she mustn't move, nor be moved in any way, else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do naught but wait and pray. Ah. Uh. So, okay, I'm deadly curious about what was back up there, so I need to go back up there. That would drive me a little batty. I'm like that in pretty much any game with exploration that I just, like... I, I have to explore everything before moving on to another floor. It, it would drive me nuts if I didn't. Not curious enough to look inside. Aw, look inside. Oh, hey, another note. Flying Hawk 1 of 5? Is it, is it 1 of 5 or is it like January 5th? I wonder if I already have two notes from Wortham over there. In Hi, Kalo. Maybe I should have warned people I was recording. I soared through the sky as I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up, beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core, and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt flesh and rock bones. When all, was left, when all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. The Spirit Realm calls me once, calls me more often than it did before. As High Shaman of the Quantaco, I must heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. So Flying Hawk is our ancestor. Good to know. wonder if that'll become relevant. Let's see... I sort of wish I could carry a torch with me. I don't know if I can get through some of these areas. I like games that are exploration-based. Like, I don't know. I just do. It's it's one of the things I enjoy. One of the one of the games I enjoy. Game genres. Similar reason why I like dump. Uh, whoa. That's a bad sign. Someone must have really loved this person. Anyway, that's why I like games like Gone Home. Very intriguing. It's locked. There's a crescent moon shape on the floor? Door. Gotcha. Well, I have obviously explored everything here. I kind of like that she's not gamey. Like, she walks rather than uh, running around everywhere and I can't jump down ladders or anything insane like that. But whatever. We're going to keep exploring down this shaft... I suppose. I guess that's the only way I can go. We'll keep exploring down the shaft in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.